Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeek Kumar. Let's start new tutorial about the how we can control VFD on of using the LabVIEW plus Arduino. Okay, now let's start first come on the circuit diagram. Okay, as well as hardware also. After this, we are coming in the Arduino programming. Then last one is LabVIEW. Okay, now let's start. Uh, okay, guys, first you need this VFD and the name is you see PowerFlex 4M. You can purchase anyone. Okay, and uh, uh, second one you need you need a relay module. Okay, you can purchase one module only. Okay, I have four module relay. Next one is Arduino Uno and a simple breadboard. Okay, and some male to female connectors. Okay, now let's come on the circuit diagram. This is the circuit diagram. Okay, now this one is your VFD and you see. Okay, hardware as well as circuit diagram. Okay, now you see. Right now we need to use 0, 01, 0, 02 and 11 pins for uh, on and off. Okay, now you see. 0. 11 and 2 okay now uh, 0 uh, 1 2 11 okay now you see 1 and 11 i showed this uh, help of jumper wire you see 1 and 11 okay help of this you key you see 1 and 11 okay and then you see the 11 wire go to the your breadboard okay this one and help of this one is your sorted and this wire directly go to your relay module okay this one this is your normally closed circuit you see like this okay second terminal you need to connect second terminal okay as like this you see 11 wire uh, this is your breadboard okay in this circuit and this uh, wire i uh, connected to this terminal and this is uh, go to your relay module center one that is normally closed you see okay the next one is your pin number two now you see this is your pin number two this on uh, your breadboard okay and this is your short circuit or we can say this is as like a bus bar okay this one connect to this one and this supply go to your relay module that is your normally open you see nc contact last one you need to connect this terminal okay uh, let's uh, search on this here okay now this one is your two uh, second pin you need to connect to your breadboard like this and this second terminal go to your normally open this circuit of relay you see yellow wire okay now this circuit is complete okay now let's come on the uh, parameters you need to change only a one parameter okay now let's i'm um, click to select okay p106 you need to click to p106 this one okay let's i'm um, click to enter this one again enter and you need to set parameter 2 2 is your like hardware control okay if you want to control with help of switch you need to uh, enter a 2 okay if I enter a 1 like I am enter 0 0 is your keypad like this one this one is turn on when I click to enter you see you see on means I uh, right, right now I am able to control this uh, VFD help of this keypad not using hardware okay now let's I'm, uh, show you when I click to uh, green and you see VFD is turn on sorry you see Okay, help of this you can easy to control. This is your keypad. Now I'm click to red and you see okay uh, run option is uh, turn off. Now again what you do? Let's I'm click to select okay 106 enter okay again enter and right now I have set 2 second parameter 2 2 is your keypad like help of uh, this uh, pin number 2 you can easy to uh, turn on and off help of any sensor or we can say any switch that's why I'm click to enter this one okay set second now this one and let's again check yes second okay now back you see right now it's uh, starting condition okay now when I click to again run and you see it's not working okay now the parameter is uh, changed and help of the, uh, right now help of this second terminal you can easy to control okay that's why I'm using this relay for uh, uh, communicate with this uh, pin number 2 and 11 this one okay uh, if you are connected directly pin 2 and 11 it's directly start okay now uh, this is complete now let's come on the next one that is relay uh, and you see they have pins here okay gnd this one is your gnd okay you need to connect to the gnd to your arduino board okay and vcc to your vcc arduino board okay and you see in the circuit diagram <coughs> 
फाइव वोल्ट ओके दिस वन इज योर फाइव वोल्ट एंड दिस फाइव वोल्ट आई एम कनेक्ट टू द ब्रेड बोर्ड एंड दिस वायर गो टू योर आर्डिनो फाइव वोल्ट लाइक दिस ओके सेम जी एन डी जी एन डी इज ग्राउंड ग्राउंड फर्स्टली आई एम कनेक्ट टू द ब्रेड बोर्ड एंड देन हेल्प ऑफ ब्रेड बोर्ड इट्स गो टू योर जी एन डी टू योर आर्डिनो यू नो लाइक दिस ओनली ओके नाउ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस वन सेंटर पिन डेट इज यूर आई एन वन रिले मॉड्यूल वन ओके राइट नाउ आई हैव फोर मॉड्यूल डेट्स वाई देर हैव फोर पिन आई एन वन टू थ्री फोर बट राइट नाउ आई एम यूजिंग द आई एन वन ओके फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल दिस वन ओके दिस वन ओके एंड वट यू डू यू नीड टू कनेक्ट वन वायर टू दिस टर्मिनल एंड डायरेक्टली गो टू कनेक्ट टू योर पिन नंबर एट ऑफ आर डी दू नो दिस पिन यू सी पिन नंबर एट ओके इन द सर्किट डायग्राम यू सी दिस वायर डायरेक्टली गो टू पिन नंबर एट ऑफ योर आर डी दू नो ओके दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम ओके लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन इजी टू गो एंड डाउनलोड दिस वन एज वेल एज दिस वन ऑल्सो ओके एवरीथिंग इज कम्प्लीट नो लेट्स कम ऑन द प्रोग्रामिंग पार्ट ना ओपन आर डी दू नो ओके दिस वन नो लेट स्टार्ट टू डू प्रोग्रामिंग आई एंड डिक्लेयर द वन वेरिएबल आई एंड इंटीजर डाटा टाइप ओके एंड देन वेरिएबल इज रिले ओके रिले वन इक्वल टू एट बिकॉज राइट नाउ रिले कनेक्ट टू द पिन नंबर एट ऑफ आर डी दू नो आई ऑलरेडी टेल अबाउट दिस ओके नाउ लेट्स कम ऑन द नेक्स्ट दैट इज वर्ड सेटअप ओके एंड लास्ट सेकेंड वन इज यूर वर्ड लुक like this now what you do let's i meant here a uh, serial sorry serial dot begin and the baud rate of arduino you know is 9600 help of this we can easy to communicate with our lab view okay and now what you do we need to declare the uh, our led or we can say relay i meant a pin mod this one and enter here this same variable relay one i copy this one and paste here comma and you need to declare this is your output or input but try to this is my output like this okay everything is done now let's come on the void loop okay for continuity operation if serial dot sorry serial dot available okay now you see if serial dot available that time this condition is executed right now uh, what you do let's i'm create a one variable also uh, int data okay like this okay data now uh, i'm declare here data equal to serial dot sorry serial dot read serial dot read okay and this serial dot read data store in our data this one okay now we need to create a one condition uh, that is if data okay if data equal equal okay right now enter uh, if data equal equal uh, like i'm enter any character okay you can enter uh, any character uh, right now i'm enter here like r r for run okay like this in your serial monitor if you are enter r that send this condition is execute okay the next one uh, next condition is if uh, data equal equal s s means stop okay you can change as per requirement okay now if as uh, in serial monitor you can enter s that send this condition is execute okay now you easy to understand about this now uh, we need to enter here pin mode like if someone is enter r that time our relay is operate digital sorry digital write okay this one and we uh, we need to enter this same parameter or we can say same variable relay one copy and you need to enter declare high or low high means on low means off like this copy this one and paste here but right now you need to change here that is low like this okay everything is done and first you need to declare here once for in the starting option uh, my relay is turn off automatic okay that's why we need to declare here digital write relay one that is i want a high high okay now everything is done first you need to uh, go to upload option okay connect your arduino you know i already connected 
okay uh, right now you see done uploading okay now what you do let's say click to this silly monitor open this when i click to one and press enter okay is nothing when i press to, oh sorry s capital s again enter you see it's on and relay is on working you see okay the status is run on you see relay on when i uh, enter s s means stop click to enter sorry r r enter and you see right now our uh, relay is off and you see the status is off now we are not able to change the frequency because our motor is off condition okay now you easy to understand yes now uh, one thing you need to modify right now when you uh, enter r that's time your relay is off okay now what you do you need to change here high to low okay and low to high like this now everything is done and click to upload again yes uh, uploading done now what you do let's come on the lab view okay arduino part is working well now let's come on the lab view and what you do come on the block diagram right click here and uh, go to instrument io and this visa and pin this one okay now i have a write and read we need to enter the write okay first go to advance and open visa and the next one is close like this and we need to use this write okay because we need to give a command like this okay everything is done now uh, select this one control space control w okay let's modify select right click here and go to visible item and click to label you see visa open visa right visa close yes now you see they have a visa resource name right click here and create control this one Uh, let's then change this color right click and go to properties background okay this one i'm click to okay now what do you do and uh, right now have a right go for right click and create a control okay it's very important right buffer okay the next one is your written count right click and create an indicator yes right click here and go to structure and create a uh, while loop for continuity operation right click and create a control this one this is your stop button okay and uh, you need to give a delay go to timing and right now i'm using this wait delay right click and create a constant i'm at here uh, 100 like this okay now uh, what do you do let's i'm uh, uh, change to switch option and right click here and go to let's i'm choose the silver button and uh, buttons right now what do you do let's i'm choose this one okay button okay now let's create a one condition if when i press this one that's i'm your relay or we can say vfd is turn on otherwise turn off okay now what do you do right click and go to comparisons you see there have option about the select click to this one okay yes this one okay now uh, remove this one control b okay right click here and create a constant this one uh, okay and delete uh, delete this control okay and you need to connect to this terminal to your first end to true and copy this one and again connect to this terminal that is false when you press okay button that time this condition is go to your output and this output i am connect to this one okay and in this condition i am enter here capital r capital r for run and capital s for stop this one okay everything is done yes now let's modify okay okay this is written count 
okay now first uh, first what you do uh, uh, reconnect your Arduino you know okay and uh, now I'm connect com 3 okay and click to run okay right now the return count is 1 okay when I click to okay and you see you see it's turn on but it's automatically turn off why because you are using this push button now we need to change this first one. go to turn off okay and click to this switch right click here mechanical action and you see there are lots of function here switch when pressed a uh, switch until release like this one uh, let's time select this one and press okay again change this one okay now you see it's push button like this okay what you do let's click to again uh, run when i click to ok button and you see relays on okay or we can say it's holding and you see you can help of this you can easy to control your motor speed okay this is 60 frequency help of this you can easy to control okay okay uh, when i click to turn off this switch and you see relays turn off and you're not able to change or we can say uh, change the speed of your motor you see the status is run is turn off okay and when I again turn on the switch and you see the status is on relay or we can say run condition is on you see light is on and you can easy to uh, control your motor speed okay when I again turn off the switch status is off okay it's help with this you can easy to control this is the tutorial number one in the second tutorial we are using uh, lots of things about how we can change the uh, motor uh, status forward or reverse okay right now the status is continuously forward okay in the next video we are trying to uh, convert help of switch how we can use reverse and forward okay thank you so much guys if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much guys